Hello, long time no see. Today I'm gonna do a little makeup tutorial of this picture. Um, a few people asked me and it was my first time ever doing it so I'm gonna try to walk through it again. It's like really basic, really natural, kind of glowy, dewy. This is my first time ever doing like a full on in-depth makeup tutorial so bear with me. I'll do my best to explain everything as best as I can. So before I start my makeup, I moisturize, I cleanse, I do just like a basic skincare routine. I can do another video on my skincare routine if anyone wants it. But here's my face all moisturized. I do have a few little blemishes that I'm gonna cover up and I'll show you guys how I do that. First things first, the most important thing is primer. I think if you use the wrong primer, it won't come out as dewy or as glowy as you would like. This is the primer that I use. I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I honestly think this is what changes my makeup. I didn't have this primer for like a few weeks, so I ended up using a different primer, which was this one, and my makeup just came out looking very dry and not dewy or like as natural looking if you want to ensure that like dewy finish try to get a primer that's hydrating what i do is i put a little bit on my finger i dip the finger in and then i just pat it all over my face and i focus especially on like blemishes like i'll put extra primer on those little spots and then i do another dollop for my eyes i let the primer set for like a minute or two. I don't use foundation, but I do use quite a bit of concealer. My favorite concealer of all time is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I use the shade G8 for my face, and then I use G11 for my under eyes and just for my eyes in general. When I apply my concealer, I like to use a brush. The best brush is the e.l.f. concealer brush, but I lost mine, so I've been using this as a substitute until I can get a new e.l.f. concealer brush. I dip just a little bit, like so, like that, on both sides, and then I start going in on my blemishes. Like so, like that. This side of my face is just a lot more red than this side for some reason. I think it's because it's the side I sleep on. And I'm just lightly kind of brushing on concealer. And you can see this really red blemish I have. I put a little extra concealer on there. Honestly, it feels like I'm painting my face. Because the Glossier concealers are more of a light coverage and more, um, I guess, sheer, that's what gives it more of a dewy look. And then I go in with my G11 using the same brush. And then I go under my eyes. Dun, 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 dun. And then I go right here to kind of, I don't know, I saw it on TikTok once and it kind of raises the face and raises the eye. My eye bag right underneath. And then a little bit in the corner here. Raise the eye. And then a little bit on the lid. Ta-da! And then I'll let it sit for a minute while I go wet my beauty blender. You can really use any beauty blender you want. This is, um, I don't remember where I got this. I'm pretty sure I got it at Target. It really doesn't matter. I don't know much about beauty blenders. I do know that high, like higher quality beauty blenders may be better, I don't know. I don't know. I know some people have said that they don't wet their beauty blender and it helps blend it easier, but I find that when you want like a dewy look, wetting your beauty blender is how you achieve that. And then I'll just start blending. One thing I wanna say is for beginners, I know that makeup can be really scary. When I first started makeup, which was about like, what is it, 2021? I would say like, Three years ago. I was really scared. I used to use Aquaphor as primer, which is not a good idea at all. But if you want to get good at makeup, the only way is to just keep doing it. Keep practicing, keep trying, figure out what works for your face specifically, because what works for some people might not work for you and that's okay. Especially when it comes to things like contour, there's a lot of like popular contour techniques that fit certain face shapes. It took me a long time to realize that my face shape was not included. Because <laughs> I have more of like a round Asian face, so I'm still trying to learn a good way to contour for my type of face shape. Don't be afraid to blend for a long time. There we go, we finished my first layer of concealer and then I like to go in again just one more time over very harsh blemishes. Like as you can see, the red thing I have right here hasn't really disappeared, so I'll put another layer. Not now I can go right here under my nose one more time and then i go in with the milk concealer this is the shade i don't know it does not say well it looks like this and i'll put just a tad on that blemish for a fuller coverage and i'll let it sit for a bit and i'll blend with my finger first just 
lightly tapping. See how it's disappearing? I love makeup so much. And then I'll go over very lightly with my beauty blender just to make sure it's all blended. Your base is the most important part if you really care about it looking like more natural and more dewy. And what I love about Glossier is just that it blends so smoothly. It doesn't come on cakey like a lot of other concealers. And for good measure, I'll just put one more little dollop of the milk concealer right over top of that. Then I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in 15, the light shade. And then I'll take a little fluffy brush like this. And what I do is I dip just a little bit on it. And then I get the lid and kind of dump off all the excess on the lid. And I like to blow too. And then I'll just lightly go under my eye just so that concealer doesn't crease. Now for the eyes, I only do mascara. I'll curl my lashes and I like to hold it for about 30 seconds and then I'll press 10 times and then I'll curl one more time. And what I mean by press is that I'll, you hold it for a bit and then you let go and then hold again, just like this, if that makes sense. And I like to do that like 10 to 15 times. Lashes are curled. Roller Lash by Benefit is my favorite mascara. I've used a few mascaras and this is just one that never disappoints. And it's okay if you mess up and you get some on your eyelid because that is what Q-tips are for. What I like to do is I like to put it on the base of my eye and then just kind of blink so that the majority of the mascara goes on the bottom of the lash and not the top. Because if you have too much mascara on the top of your lash, it'll weigh down the lash and kind of get rid of that curl that you have worked so hard to achieve. And I really try to go for those inner lashes too, the little baby ones. Because since you don't have any, you're not gonna be doing any eyeliner, pressing the mascara kind of on the base helps give you a little bit of definition. You can see my concealer is still setting. See, I already got some on my eyelid, but I do not fret. Mascara is messy business and that's okay. I don't know if you can see, but I'm starting at the base and then just lightly going to the, the ends. And then again, I like to really make sure I get the baby ones because you know, I just feel like it makes everything look better. And here I'm going in with the second layer of mascara. Since mascara is the only thing you're doing to your eyes, it's just important that they're defined. Perfect. Now, Q-tip time. Take a little Q-tip here. And then just get rid of any of the eyelid residue. Before I put mascara on my bottom lash, I'm just gonna kind of blend this. And then I'll put mascara on my bottom lashes very lightly because I find that if my bottom lashes are too dark, it kind of closes up my eye. And it's okay if it looks a little messy because I think that adds to the natural, quick look. And again, the Q-tip is when it comes in handy. I just wipe away that little just because, again, I feel like having too much darkness under here closes my eye. I do a little nose contour, even though whenever I do nose contour, you can't really see it, but I just love doing nose contour so much just because it's so fun to carve out your nose. Like I said, I like to practice it so that eventually it can perfect a nose contour that you can actually see. My favorite highlighters are from ColourPop. I love ColourPop so much. And I use the shade Lunch Money. For my brush, I use this kind of thin, flat, wide type of brush. And I'll dip it into the highlighter. I put a little line right here at the where I want the tip of my nose to be. And then I'll put a little line down the center of my nose. And I'll leave a space right here where so that the highlight doesn't connect. And I do highlight first because it's easier to clean it up with contour. And then I blend with my fingers. I just lightly tap it into my skin. And then I'll take my little mini hula bronzer and I'll use a brush like this. It's kind of like the highlight brush, but thicker. And I tap off the excess. Again, I blow. And then I trace around the highlight. I'll bring it up to my brow. For the tip of my nose, I'll just put some right under and then a little bit on top. I like to do a thick little line right on top and then bring it down just a bit. And then I take a flat, very thin brush like this, and I will just kind of blend out my contour by just kind of dragging it out, but keeping that line right up against my highlight more defined. Just kind of feathering it. Here, I'll brush up. 
Then I'll take my beauty blender and just blend these top parts especially and then down my own. And then I like to go in with my G11 again, that concealer brush and just kind of go down right here for any of that excess contour that escapes to the edge of my nose. And that's why I love the Glossier ones because since I'm layering so much, because it's Glossier and it's more sheer and it blends so beautifully, it doesn't look cakey. Ta-da! So I don't know if you can really see a difference. And now for the most important part, this is what really makes the look in my opinion, a liquid blush. I use the Glossier Cloud Paint and this is in Spark. Honestly, if you want my honest opinion on the Glossier Cloud Paint, I love it, but it's just a tad bit too pigmented for me. If you end up using like a little too much, it, it can, it, like it shows it's a bit too much. I put literally just this much and then I tap on my cheek right, kind of right where my eye ends and then up into my temple. Right about there. And then I use a little blush brush. I tap lightly first just to combine them. I'll go up and down just to broaden it. And then I'll start sweeping. But as you can see, it's like very pigmented. So you have to be very careful with how much you use. And then I like to go also into my eye, kind of framing my eye. I'll bring it all the way up to the bottom corners of my eye and this top corner too. And I like to blend especially where the blush started so that it kind of seamlessly enters my face and i find that bringing your blush up to your temple helps make your face look more feminine i guess it's a lot of blush with just that little finger dollop i'll do the same to the other side I'm using only this much like a very tiny bit again into the temple and then spreading into the eye, under the eye. Blending is really important in makeup, so you need a bit of patience, I think. It'll look bad, but if you just blend enough, it's bound to turn out okay. Just to connect it, I'll go into my nose with just any excess on the brush. Go in with my beauty blender, beat the shit out of it. Cause it's so pigmented. That's also why I don't put anything on my eye, just because I feel like the blush enough color i take my g11 concealer and then i go right underneath the blush just do a little line blend by i brush it down a little with my beauty blender rather than tapping i'm just kind of like pushing down and then i tap i use this natasha denona mini palette i love the natasha denona mini palettes this is the mini nude palette as you can see it's a little beat up my friend got this for my birthday and i loved it so much that i bought Another one, this, had, this is more like neutral tones. And then I take the brush that I did my nose highlight with and I use this middle shade. I put a little bit on the inner corner of my eye. Just a little like up and down right in the middle. And now it's time for brows. Because you want more of a natural look, I don't really do my brows much. This is honestly what I do for my brows for every look. This is the e.l.f. Um, brow pencil. I just like to brush my brows, just going up. And then I take the pencil and I just kind of fill in specific gaps. So like here, this brow is a little less hairy in the front. It's okay if you're a little messy with it because again, that's what Q-tips are for. They save my life every time. After I fill them in, I give it a final little brush. Taking another Q-tip, I just go over the border of my eyebrow to pick up any excess. I'll take a big powder brush. I'll dip it in the powder here, just a tad. And then I'll bring it to the lid and that's where I'll mix it. I like to go over my T-zone first because that's what gets oily the most. And then just a quick little powder all over my face. And then over the T-zone. Be careful not to use too much powder because that is what can make makeup look cakey. And then after I powder, I use the same ColourPop highlight that I used on my nose. Put a finger in. And then, oop, just like that. And then I blend it out with my fingers. I go in on my lips one more time, again with the G11. And then I just outline the ends of my lips like this. So it kind of makes a little X. And I blend with the Beauty Blender. Before I start any makeup routine, I put Aquaphor on my lips so that by the time it gets to my lips, my lips are pretty hydrated. But I like to go for one more round of chapstick. 
This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color. I think it's 87 in the shade 87. I love this lipstick. I found it in my mom's purse and then I just took it. <laughs> I asked her obviously, but. And then I just put it all over my lips. You don't necessarily need this lipstick. Don't use anything matte because having glossy lips is what adds to the whole dewy look. Finally, I use the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the game changer. You need a setting spray if you wanna have that dewy look. And I let that sit and dry. While that's happening, I like to add a little bit more gloss to my lips. This was a gift from a friend. It is a Dior lip gloss in 465. And I just like to put a tiny bit right in the center and then I then while this spray is still a little wet, not too wet, like honestly pretty dry, just a tad bit damp. I'll go in with the beauty blender one more time. Finally, I don't put any more powder on my brush. I just use any like leftover powder that's still on it. And then I'll go over my T-zone again. So there's the finished look. And that was my first makeup tutorial. It was my first one, so sorry if I didn't explain things as well as I could have. If there's anything I need to clarify, let me know. And um, I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around. And I'm really excited for summer trings plans. I have a lot of things I want to try out this summer. This summer I have a lot of ideas for what I want to do on this channel and I have a lot of time. So hopefully I can do all the things that I want to do. I'll have all the products listed in the description and I hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Hopefully. I hope everyone's having a good summer. If you're graduating, congrats. And if you're still not done with finals yet, hang in there. You're so close. I hope everyone's doing well and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.